Hey guys and welcome to my channel. So today we're going to be furnishing this apartment in San Myshuno. It's the 131221 Sheik Street apartment, also known as Penny Pizzazz's apartment. And this apartment was very much inspired by a book I recently read called Days at the Morisaki Bookshop. And it was honestly one of the like coziest books I've read in a long time and I really enjoyed it. It's definitely not... I wouldn't recommend it for people that are really into like plot and character development. I mean there's some character development for sure but it's definitely a slower book where not a lot of crazy things happen and I just really enjoyed the pace of it and I'm currently listening to the sequel as well. Um, so yeah I'm hoping to like that one too but I've definitely been inspired a bit to create some, I don't want to say specifically like Japanese style builds because yeah I'm not I don't want to like offend anybody but it's definitely inspired by that and I've used a couple different sets I know I used a uh, Kyoto by Felix and I've used I think oh I can't remember the name of this right now but it will all be linked down below as always so that you can download this build if you want to or if you like any of the CC you see in this video but yeah, I had a lot of fun with this one. It's a very small apartment. It's just a studio, so there's not like an official bedroom. I just use these dividers to kind of create the illusion of a bedroom, which I like to do sometimes, especially for apartments, just to kind of make them a little bit different from what I would do in a house, I guess, because houses are normally a bit bigger. But yeah, I really like how this one turned out, and I think it just looks like really calm and tranquil and... The colors are so nice and just the light like that nice light wood I just I do love the color of wood I will say by the way I apologize if you hear any like weird sounds there is construction like very close by and they're being very loud this morning so I'm hoping that the mic does not pick any of it up but I can't make any promises about that so yeah, these couches are really, really cute. They're from a creator called, I think, Simspiration is how you say the name. I'm not 100% sure, but they have a, I think it's three parts set. I think it's called Japandi. I'm sorry, you guys. I feel like I should have checked this before him, but yeah, I'm hoping it would be nice if he could add to this set again before I finish my next build that's kind of in this style because... I do really like the furniture that he's putting out. I think that it's really nice. So yeah, I'm hoping that happens, but if not, that's okay because there is quite a bit actually just outside of like the snowy escape pack for this kind of style, which is nice in CC. Um, so I should be more than okay. But yeah, this is the little bedroom area now. I didn't add a lot in here except for just a bed because and a dresser because it is it is a very small space like I said so we have like our main living area with the little desk and the couch and everything and then there's the kitchen which has a little dining nook in it and then a bathroom like there really wasn't a lot of space to work with in this one but sometimes that's nice because then you can really clutter it up and like I said like make it look super lived in and cozy and that's always fun especially for smaller apartments like this and even when I do my little like room builds on Instagram for like reels and stuff I love to clutter those up because it's such a small little thing I'm working on so I feel like I can clutter it up without making my life horrible and just having to like film it and everything so yeah that's always fun um and something I've never really done before on this channel I feel like is let you guys know that I'm willing to take suggestions for apartments or houses um it will well this channel is a bit better my other channel my main like Lindsay build channel if you suggest there it's probably gonna take a little while to get the build just because I have a lot of builds that I'm currently working on all at once so it will take longer this channel I'm only ahead by like one build right now so it shouldn't take that long if you make a suggestion just know that I do alternate so every two weeks I do like I'll do this week as an apartment and then in two weeks from now it will be a house um just because I find it a little bit like nice to have that variety of different kinds of builds 
so yeah just if you want to suggest anything you can totally suggest in the comments and i will definitely try my best to make that happen or link you to a build that already exists that i've done if it's something i've done recently even on my other channel um yeah and i also did take a bit of a break from this channel as well i don't know if you guys have noticed i did upload a very long video a couple weeks ago but other than that i've definitely been behind uh, I think, well, I did take a vacation and I think I was just needing to like do something else for a little while. It wasn't exactly like a burnout, I don't think. It was like maybe a pre, like leading up to a burnout and I feel much better now and I've been definitely working a lot on my channel and it actually let me get a little bit ahead even. So that's really nice. That's a good feeling because um, I don't know at this point like what more I can do to like get ahead with builds on this channel because I just don't have a lot of time to do that between just work and life in general and I'm actually planning to add on to that in like the next week or so so I'll tell you guys all about that if it ends up like panning out I'm not sure exactly what's gonna happen but yeah so if anything, I'm going to be more busy, but I'm going to still try my best to prioritize uploading every two weeks. I think I should be fine doing that. I might just have to make slightly smaller builds again. I don't know. But yeah, I'm definitely going to try my best to stay on schedule. It just gets to be a bit much sometimes. So this kitchen set is by Piri Sim. It's his Stefan kitchen, which I really think is cute at first. I wasn't like thinking it was that great for some reason but now I'm kind of obsessed with it and I think it really really suits just the style of this build in general I think it's really fun so yeah I definitely recommend that kitchen if you're looking for something kind of simple but also that's like kind of cute looking at the same time like I love the little like knobs on it I think it makes the kitchen look really cute it also has like this line detail on the second variation that's really nice and we're finally on to the bathroom, the last room in this build. If you like this video, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. If you want to get all the CC, it will be listed in the description down below. It will also take you to my Patreon, so if you'd like to support the channel, of course, I appreciate that so much. And yeah, so I'll see you guys next time. Bye!